rationality or term being rational in economics or in day to day life are they the same or are they different mm. so they are same but interpreted in a different they are the same but interpreted in different way that's what you are saying we will see let's take an example okay let's take an example okay let's say a person just for simplicity let's take an example of two good words okay good one and good two good two fine and let's say you are already familiar with this re relation what does it mean is at least as good as or at least as preferred as that's what it means this is a relation when i say a is at least as good as b what it is doing it is establishing a relationship between a and, a and b and a and b both are element of x, x. that's why this relationship is defined on x so now let's say this is this person has little bit a strange kind of preference what he does when we have two good world what does it mean that it has let's say a1 and a2 a1 represents the amount of good one and a2 represents the amount of good two and here b1 and b2 and let's say just for definition sake i'm talking about a specific individual what he has that if a1 plus a2 is less than or equal to b1 plus b2 then he prefers then he says that a is at least as good as b so what he cares about he doesn't care about good one and good two individually he cares about the sum of good one and good two that he has and also not only that also less he has more he likes that bundle now let's check would you call this person in a way i am saying let's say good one is cloth and good two is food food or earlier convention we were using good one as food and good two as cloth so let's stick to that good one is food and good two is cloth let's take two bundles 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 what it means two units of food and two units of cloth and it means three units of food and three units of cloths if we are talking about a person whose preference is just described by me which one do you think he would prefer he would prefer 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 why because what he cares not individual amount of food and individual amount of cloth what he prefers what he what he cares about is the total sum sum here is 4 and sum here is 6 and 4 is of course less than 6 when 4 is less than 6, I can also write 4 is less than or equal to 6. This is not a wrong statement. Okay? Fine? So, what it means? That 2 plus 2 is at least as preferred as 3, 3. 3, 3. Fine? Now, let's look at it. Does it satisfy all the assumptions? The 3 assumption rationality assumption that we have described. Let's check for completeness. When we pick any bundle from this conjunction set, we will be able to figure out, let's say if that bundle is x, from x we will get x1 comma x2 and we will be able to figure out x1 plus x2 and let's say if we are picking any other bundle y, of course what we will get y1 comma y2 and again we will be able to figure out y1 plus y2. And there are one of these three possibilities. Either x1 plus x2 is greater than y1 plus y2 or it is less than y1 plus y2 or equals to. it is equal to. Okay. So, by going starting from here and if we go back, we will always be able to compare. So, it satisfies completeness. completeness. How about reflexivity? Satisfy. It satisfies. 
x1 plus x2 is at least is greater than or equal to x1 plus x2. This is not wrong. Hmm. It doesn't preclude the scenario when x1 plus x2 is equal to x1 plus x2. Okay, so this is also satisfied. It means reflexivity is satisfied. Are you with me? And when we take three bundle x comma y comma z, okay, when x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to y1 plus y2 and let's say y1 plus y2 is greater than or equal to z1 plus z2 what we will be able to figure out that x1 plus x2 is able to is greater than or equal to z1 plus z2 so what does the first one say it says that y is at least as good as x, x. and the second one it says z is at least as good as y so by combining these two we should get z is at least as good as x, x. and that's what we are getting from here so it satisfies transitivity so by our definition this person has rational preferences or this person is rational But can we call probably in real life, in day to day life, such kind of a person would be called stupid or mad. Okay. So, of course, our definition of rationality is a bit different from the definition of rationality that we use in everyday language. Okay. They are not the same. So, what are the differences? What are the differences? Can you think of the differences? So the completeness definition of rationality here does not match with the rationality there. Like if there we are saying that something is related to something in, a, in one way, it is there in one way, but here it is defined in three ways. See, let me, what you are saying, let me put it a little differently and in more general way. What we have is that when we say in, in everyday language that someone is rational, what we are talking about <coughs> that the person has sound choice. Okay? And sound choice from where it is coming, one can interpolate and say it's coming from sound preferences. Okay? And society has some definition of this soundness when the preference is sound. Society has some, you know, not in an explicit manner, but implicitly society thinks that what kind of preference is sound preference. Fine? So, and the second that this sound preference should lead to good judgment. economics say its language in economics here we do not care about the soundness of of preferences what we care here about is consistency Consistency and completeness. Although the example example didn't exhibit, but it say that in real life, when a person will be called rational even if his choice or his preference is not complete. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he okay. But here, so in some sense. The economics definition is narrow and in some sense it encompasses the more thing. Okay? So here the, it's, the focus is on the consistency and completeness and no emphasis on judgment yet. 
Of course, in economics also we focus on judgment, but not because of preferences. Remember the fourth building block. What was the fourth building block? A human behavior. So that that's where we are bringing the judgment. So judgment is separate from the rationality of your preferences. While in our day-to-day -day life, we combine all these things in one. You understand? This is the way these two are different. But roughly, in most of the cases, they mean the very same thing. If we talk about, of course, I take an I took an example of a very weird person. Remember, in economics, there is no weird person or weird individual. Here we are not talking about why did he get such weird kind of preference. In economics, we do not put any value judgment here about a person's preferences. Okay? What we care about it, what we care about is that it has to be consistent and complete. Consistent coming from transitivity and Fine, is it clear? Okay, so whenever you are using this rational term, be careful about it. Whether you are using it in economic sense or you are using it in, using it in day to day sense. Because they are not always the same. Fine? 